What's up, Yen here and this is my first impression, quick unboxing and graph measurements of this Kiwi Ears Cadenza. Now before I begin, I'd like to thank Lin So for sending this to me and making this video possible. Appreciate it very much as always. But guys, rest assured that whatever I say in this video is my own opinion. This video is not scripted and Lin So will be watching this video together with you guys. Right, so Kiwi Ears Cadenza. This is now retailing for 35 US dollars. Uh, it's on uh, Linso website. So for those of you who are interested, do check out the unaffiliated link in the description below. So as usual, I will open this up, go through the accessories, and then I'll measure this with my measuring rig. After which I'll listen to this for the very first time. And while listening to it, I'll share with you guys my sound impressions of it. Uh, but please note that this is not my full review. After this video, I'll listen to this for a longer period of time and then I will make another video at a later date. Now, this video is going to be timestamped, so for those of you who wish to skip around, uh, please feel free to do so. Alright, so let's uh, first remove this plastic. So uh, let's take out my pen knife. Okay. Okay. Right, so Kiwi Ears Cadenza. Right, this is a single dynamic driver. Comes in four colors, right? Red, blue, green, and purple. The one I have here is the red, uh, kind of like red, but I don't have much red IEM, so this is a good um, color to my collection. Okay, and uh, you got a picture of the IEM in the front, and oh, you got some specs. Okay, so let's go through the specs. Now, this is a 10 millimeter dynamic driver, and this, this is a beryllium dynamic driver, right? So, beryllium coated, I think it's coated. I don't know. The diaphragm is beryllium, all right? Uh, it's supposed to be a very good driver, right? Uh, frequency response is 20 to 20,000 hertz. Diaphragm material beryllium. Uh, impedance is 32 ohms. Sensitivity is 110. The uh, THD is 0.3%, but it doesn't say at what level. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, so let's uh, see what's inside. Nice. Okay. All right, shaky, shaky. There you go. Pour it open. Oh, okay. <laughs> I should have done that, but yeah. Okay, let's see. You can put that one side anyway. Alright, so uh, people work. Alright, so how you use it. I'm not going to read that. Then you have uh, ear tips. So let's uh, take a look at what ear tips are provided. Okay, so there are total of three types of ear tips. I'm not too sure what's the difference I, I should be looking at here. Uh, this one, this gray color ear tip seems to be the narrowest ear tip. And this white one seems to be the widest bore ear tip. And the black one seems to be somewhat normal size. But yeah, so in terms of the internal stem, well, this, this gray color one seems to be the, the stiffest, right? It feels okay. Feels, this, this white one, the flange seems to be a little bit soft. The texture of it is a little bit smooth. The, the grippiest one is the black one. Okay, I don't know where I dropped the other one. Uh, yeah, so, well, I'll have to try them out. But uh, these are the three different types. Again, I'm not too sure what's the difference. Okay, so three different ear tips. Let's put them one side and then cable. Let's see. All right, so this is the uh, provided cable. Uh, feels a little bit thin and is braided, twisted for core. Yep, twisted cable and uh, terminates with a L angled 3.5 headphone jack. A uh, Y splitter with metal sleeve, pretty normal. And no chin slider and the ear hooks are pretty soft actually. You know, it's a, a very thin cable, right? This is actually a very thin cable, I, I find. Yeah, it's very thin. Um, but the good thing about thin cables is that they don't really tangle. Well, it does a little bit, but it, it does come untangled pretty easily. Okay, so cable is a little bit thin to my liking, but it's, it's all right, looks okay. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, IEM. All right, so Kiwi Ears Cadenza. Very nice faceplate. Uh, this is the red. Uh, I don't see much red on this, but yeah, it's supposed to be red. Eh, is it red? Yeah, on the box it says uh, red. Oh, where's the red? 
Okay, anyway, yeah, so this is the um, faceplate. It's got some marbling going on in the faceplate. Uh, and it's pretty nice. It's got the uh, Kiwi Ears uh, branding here. Uh, very elegant looking and traditional looking type of faceplate. Very nice. And I, the good thing is, what I like is that I don't see much of a seam or any joints or anything like that. So it looks pretty good. Okay. Um, on the side here, you see it's some vent and then uh, the two pin. Even the two pin connector, you can see that it's flushed. There's no connector or any any join lines or anything like that. Looks very nice, like something that's seamless. Okay, and on the inner shell as well, it looks pretty okay, pretty nice, no fin. Uh, and there's a vent here. The nozzle is kind of wide. Yeah, looks kind of wide. This entire shell is very very light. Okay, it feels weightless. Well, there's pros and cons to it, but. Yeah, the pro the pro about this is that it's weightless it's nice it, it, it will just uh, disappear into your ear and just I'm, I'm sure it's gonna feel comfortable all right so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take out my measuring rig and let's see how this Kiwi ears cadenza graph so be right back okay so I'm back and as you can see I brought out my measuring rig and I already calibrated everything so you guys don't need to watch that process so let's begin with the measurement so uh, let's put in the left side which is this one okay left side into the coupler all right all right now let's go to the computer and click on measure give it a name key we use cadenza okay and check the levels first 87 db that's very good let's begin see how the left side graphs Okay, hmm, uh, very nice U shape. I see. All right, so now let's take out the left side and put the right side in. So this is the right side, as you can see. Let's put it into the coupler. Make sure the insertion is proper. All right, so now let's go back to the computer and let's check the levels again. 88 db yeah well that's fine it's just one db all right so let's begin okay hmm the channel matching is pretty all right uh except for above 8k but uh, below that is pretty fine pretty good Okay, so I'm going to tidy up this graph and then I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back and uh, as you can see, I've tidied up the graph and let's analyze it. The sub base is quite close to Harman. So this dotted line here is the Harman curve. Sub base is a little bit above the Harman uh, mid base as well. And the mids, so mids are quite forward here, I, find, I see. And the gain from the mids to the upper mids, which is treble, uh, it's quite a smooth, long, smooth and long gain. I would say this part here, uh, a bit below Harman, and then it dips down from the 3.5k onwards, which is telling me it's a bit. Well, it doesn't d dip a lot. Okay, it's just a bit of a dip here, which is telling me that treble is not a very energetic i mean it's energetic here but it's not a very bright uh treble so it may be a little bit dark which is, which is okay you know let, let's listen to it and uh when it comes to the air so this this uh brilliance here is the air the airiness of the treble which looks to me as quite an airy uh, treble okay but it rolls off pretty early with a 
good air. Mm. Right. So, uh, right. So let's take out my uh, iPad. All right, and um, and let's listen to this for the first time. So be right back. Okay. So I'm back, and as you can see, I brought out my iPad, uh, my Quest style. Uh, dongle deck M15 dongle deck and the Kotori cable and my CP145 ear tips and this is the cadenza Kiwi ears cadenza so let's um, and of course the song I'm listening to is uh, Enemy by uh, Imagine Dragons so let's put this into the ear see how they fit okay no problems uh, going into the ear and the fit is quite good gives me a very good seal as well um, yeah pretty comfortable alright so let's uh Fire up the song and just listen to this for the first time. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Bass is pretty punchy. It's all right. It's not. It's not very punchy, but it's okay. The rumble is good. The tone of this is warmish. The lead singer sounds okay. So this is this is not an intimate uh, sound stage, right? Lead singer sounds spaced out, which is good. It's got good height as well to for the sound stage. I can hear the, hmm. So very good imaging and um, sound separation as well. I don't hear any muddiness to the bass. The bass is pretty good. The mid bass has got that impact. All in all, pretty pretty okay. <laughs> uh, in terms of tuning wise, I I find it, it sounds quite balanced. Treble. Oh, okay. So if I listen listen harder, I can I can hear that a little bit of that, a bit of that gain to the voice itself in terms of the lead singer. It's quite intense. It's got good energy to the lead singer, but it's not a bright type of energy. And the uh, simple strikes and the tapping of the snares doesn't sound. It, it sounds natural, but it's not a very bright tap right? there's no bite uh or the crispiness sorry there's a bite to it but there's no crispiness to it but it rolls off pretty normal a little bit short but yeah it's okay uh the rap is pretty okay the tone of it is is a warm tone note weight is pretty heavy yep it's a pretty heavy note weight it's not a dry or light type of note weight and now when i listen a little bit longer the sound stage is wide to the sides not much of a dimension to the front or uh, the depth so in terms of width yes and height but not much of a depth it's got a bit of distance but the layering is all right okay so let's pause the song okay so um kiwi ears cadenza well to summarize this sounds pretty okay uh it's kind of balanced um, quite close to harmon yeah i i don't hear much of uh, flaws in this uh now let's talk about the sound stage sound stage is wide to the sides it's got good height uh not much of a layering uh and in terms of uh, imaging and sound separation it's all right uh the details are pretty okay uh, resolution is quite okay it's pretty good i i find that actually the resolution is quite clear on this in terms of sub bass uh well let's talk, talk about the tone and the, the the timbre first tone is a bit of a warmish and heavy note type of tone uh timbre warm note heavy okay and um, the sub bass sub bass is uh got good enough uh good quantity of the sub bass good rumble uh, and the mid bass is punchy so in terms of the bass department i would say it's pretty okay not over done is not underwhelming as well uh, pretty engaging all right uh, instruments wise in the in terms of the mids is also pretty engaging as well it's pretty forward uh, and um, yeah uh, the, the the vocals is also pretty forward yeah I, I think it's, it's pretty okay I, when I listen to this is a pretty okay set right it sounds pretty good um, now the the gain and there's bitiness to the vocals as well so it's quite engaging it's got good energy to the vocals and the um, cymbal strikes and the hi-hats uh, even though they they're not the, the brightest they don't have that sparkle there not not much of a sparkle 
uh, to the cymbal strikes and the hi hats. Uh, but it's got good air to it. Uh, but it's a bit rolled off. So when they tap the cymbal strike, you know, when they tap the cymbals, it, it's like, tsk, and it needs to have that little bit of that extension. Uh, but yeah, it cuts off a bit short. Yeah. So yeah, that's for the treble. So overall, I find that this is okay set. I mean, for thirty five bucks, this is actually pretty pretty good. Yeah. Right. So um, as usual, this is just my first impression. Uh, I'm gonna listen to this for a longer period of time, and I'll make another video at a, at a later date. All right. So that's it for now. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and st watching till now. I uh, appreciate it very much. I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right. So I hope uh, you guys have a great day ahead. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the full review of this Kiwi Ears Cadenza. Cheers.